cation exchange is the process by which cations, positively charged ions such as calcium and potassium that are held on negatively charged clay mineral particles, colloidal soil particles, and plant surfaces are displaced by other cations in the environment. It is an important process that is vital to environmental processes ranging from soil nutrient retention, uptake of nutrients by plants from the soil, and buffering the deleterious effects of acid precipitation. The fertility of soils, in part, is the result of the ability of soil colloids to hold cations, a property called cation exchange capacity, better defined as the maximum quantity of cations that can be held by a unit weight of soil. The cation exchange capacity represents the total amount of cations that can be retained by the soil as water of a given pH percolates through it. Cation exchange is largely a phenomenon associated with very small colloidal soil particles that have a large surface area to volume ratio. Clays are aluminosilicate minerals with particle diameters less than 2 microns, millionth of a meter. The mineral structure of many types of clay produce surfaces that are negatively charged while their interiors are positively charged. The surfaces of organic humic substances produced by decomposition in the soil have carboxyl and hydroxyl functional groups concentrated on their surfaces. These functional groups become negatively charged as their associated hydrogen ions dissociate. The resulting negatively charged surfaces can then attract and hold cations. Likewise, the pectic substances that are present in plant roots have abundant carboxyl groups on their surfaces, imparting the ability for roots to exchange cations. Roots exude hydrogen ions that exchange for the cations held on organic and mineral soil and then can hold these cations on the root surfaces for later uptake by the plant. In the field, we will collect soil samples from a series of sites so we can determine the amounts of exchangeable cations, anions, and the cation exchange capacity and compare the fertility of different soil types. We will determine cations absorbed on soil colloids by displacing them from the negatively charged humus and clay mineral sites with ammonium ions from an ammonium acetate solution. The object is to flood the system with so many ammonium cations that all the other cations are displaced from their attractions to the surface negatively charged sites. These displaced cations, but not the ammonium, will be used to determine the cations held by cation exchange in the soil sample. Place approximately 10 grams of dried soil in a 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask with a little less than 200 ml of 1 molar ammonium acetate. It is essential to know the soil mass to the nearest 0.01 grams, but not important to have exactly 10 grams. Anything between 9 and 11 grams is fine as long as you know the exact weight. Cover the flask with parafilm and shake on a mechanical shaker for 30 minutes or more. During this step, the ammonium replaces the other bound cations and releases them into the liquid solution. Remove the flask from the shaker and then vacuum filter the suspension in a Buchner funnel using fast qualitative filter paper. Rinse the flask clean with small amounts, 50 ml or less, of 1 molar ammonium acetate until all the soil is transferred onto the filter. 
Note that you want to keep the total liquid volume less than 250 mils. Filter the liquid a second time. This time use 0.45 micron filter paper and a vacuum filtration setup. Again, use as small as possible amount of ammonium acetate to rinse. Place the filtrate, the liquid, in a 250 mL volumetric flask and bring the volume up to exactly 250 mL by adding additional ammonium acetate. Cap the flask and then invert several times to mix the contents thoroughly. Using a 1 mil pipette and a 100 mil volumetric flask, dilute the filtrate by a factor of 100 with purified water. Save the diluted filtrate in a small, clearly labeled polyethylene bottle. You and the lab staff will determine the cation concentrations using atomic absorption spectrophotometry. To determine the total cation exchange capacity of the soil, we saturate all the exchange sites with potassium cations, then rinse the soil to remove any excess potassium, then displace all the exchangeable potassium using the same technique of ammonium displacement we used for the exchangeable cations analysis. Weigh out about 10 grams of dried soil, recording the weight to the nearest 0.01 grams. Place the soil in a clean Erlenmeyer flask. Add 200 mils of 10% potassium chloride. Place on the mechanical shaker for 15 minutes. This will saturate all cation sites on the soil particles with potassium ions. Filter the soil in a Buchner funnel using fast qualitative filter paper and with 20 mils of ethanol, rinse out the flask onto the filter.
discard the filtrate, the liquid, save the soil and filter. At this point, the cation exchange sites on the soil are saturated with potassium ions, but there are no excess potassium ions in solution. Remove the soil from the filter paper and place it in a clean Erlenmeyer flask. Rinse the filter paper off with a minimum amount of ammonium acetate. Add 200 mils of one molar ammonium acetate and shake the solution for 15 minutes. The ammonium ions now exchange with the bound potassium ions, which go into solution. As in the exchangeable cation procedure, use a Buchner funnel and fast qualitative filter paper to filter the slurry into a clean sidearm flask. and then filter the filtrate a second time with 0.45 micron filter membrane and vacuum filtration. Save the filtrate liquid where the potassium ions are now found. Transfer the filtrate into a 250 mL volumetric flask and bring the level up to exactly 250 mL with ammonium acetate. Dilute 10 mils of this solution to 100 mils using pure water in a volumetric flask. save in a clean, clearly labeled polyethylene bottle for atomic emission spectroscopy analysis of potassium. <laughs>